Hello everyone, we are continuing tutorials on Unreal Media Server. My name is Max, I'm one of the architects of Unreal Media Server software. In this tutorial I will show you how to stream an RTSP camera uh, through Unreal Media Server. How to connect an RTSP camera to Unreal Media Server. The media server can uh, pull RTSP streams from any RTSP capable devices, IP cameras, servers, hardware. So uh, I have a pretty cheap IP camera from GeoVision. Let me show you the camera. Uh, I'll just show you it like that. That's the GeoVision IP camera. Okay. To connect an IP camera to media server, you need to create a live broadcast in media server configuration program of this last type, rebroadcast, RTMP, RTSP, to the transfer stream. In a previous tutorial, I've showed you how to connect RTMP encoders. Now we are concentrated on RTSP. So let's choose that. Let's call it IPCAM. The drop down already shows us RTSP. So here you need to specify the RTSP URL of this IP camera, which is always tricky to find out this RTSP URL. To find out this RTSP URL, you need to know your uh, camera manufacturer and the model. So ours is GeoVision. It is GeoVision uh, something, GeoVision CB220. So this question mark here will help us. It will point us to Soleratech website that has a comprehensive list of RTSP camera URLs. So let's find GeoVision here. Uh, GeoVision. Okay, that's here, GeoVision. And let's see, pretty much any model offers the same, same format. So let's copy that, close that, and paste that here. Okay, the RTSP, we already have the RTSP prefix here, so let's delete that. IP address our IP address. What is our camera IP address? It is, I believe, 192.168.1.10. This is the configuration page of the camera. Let's actually, let's log in and see what encoding the camera offers. Uh, in, in. So as any IP camera, this camera has a web server inside and it has a web-based configuration. So let's go to this video motion, video settings, streaming one. It allows you to specify different resolutions. Uh, we can, Let's stream the HD resolution, the small HD 720p. Uh, quality, let's try excellent. So as a video encoding, it offers H.264 and MJPEG. And as audio encoding, it offers AAC and G711. So to stream directly to MIDI server, these settings are perfect. H.264 and AAC will be playable on any device, on any, any screen, flash player, iPads, iPhones, set of boxes. Uh, if you have an older IP camera that only has, that does not offer H.264, 
uh, that offer like MJPEG or MPEG4 or the camera does not offer AAC a lot of cameras only offer G711 then you can also stream it to Unreal Media Server directly but uh, Unreal Media Server does not do any transcoding so your player will receive the same G711 if you specify G711 so a lot of players will not be able to decode it like set of boxes, iPads, uh, flash player so in this case if you have an older IP camera that only offers G711 or uh, you know MPEG4 or MJPEG encoding in this case you need to transcode with some transcoding software in order you in order to transcode to H.264 and AAC and you can do it with Unreal Live server uh, the live server can digest this uh, stream and transcode it to H.264 and AAC but this tutorial is about streaming directly to Unreal Media Server so let's choose H.264 and AAC and we uh, we are going to stream with uh, HD resolution 30 frames per second H264 AC okay and the IP address of the camera is 192.168.1.10 let's copy it here and paste it there so that's the we don't need HTTP so that's the RTSP URL of this camera that is the RTSP URL of this camera now okay let's try to play it let's launch the streaming media player again in those tutorials I'm only showing you how to uh, make sure the streaming works with uh, our player in the following tutorial I'll show you how to stream uh, those live broadcasts to any any players any player okay live broadcast ipcom ipcom okay Error. Just the cheap IP camera. So here we are streaming the full HD. At 30 frames per second. I guess my uh, my notebook cannot decode at that at that rate. But it works. Let's do the size at 50%. it's pretty small as you can see the camera sends about 30 frames per second and with IP cameras it's always pretty low latency so uh, streaming from a hardware device such as this IP camera is is generally a good idea maybe you want to use a little bit more uh, higher higher quality IP cameras from Axis, uh, Sony, Panasonic but for testing purposes the GeoVision is, is pretty good alright that's about streaming from RTSP IP camera